I still don't understand why people are boycotting Pokemon Sword and Shield over the decks being cut. Like, do some research, guys. All 151 original curries are in the game. Hello, trainers. Welcome back to Poke Patrol. One of Pokemon Sword and Shield's strangest new features is the ability to cook curry at your camp with your Pokemon. Uh, and by with your Pokemon, I mean not using them as ingredients. Just they're there with you cooking it. Actually, now that I think of it, there are some curries that are very questionable with ingredients. They could be Pokemon. I'm not 100% sure. I found the whole curry thing strange for two reasons. First of all, curry doesn't only seem like a food you'd cook while camping. I've gone to camping a total of one whole time, and I've never cooked curry. When I think of camping food, I think of like s'mores or just marshmallows or weenies roasting on the fire, but not curry. And the second reason that I find this whole curry thing so strange is that the Gala region is based on England. And as far as I know, curry isn't the national dish of England. It's not even a signature dish over there. I'm sure some people eat it, but as far as I'm concerned, curry originates from India and it's more popular over there. So I don't know why it's the signature dish of Galar, but I guess who am I to judge? I'm everybody to judge these fake curries in this virtual world. Because that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to be going out, buying a bunch of ingredients, and trying to recreate as many of these curries as I can, and then judging them from best to worst. Although, a little disclaimer, they're all gonna be the worst because I'm the one cooking them and I can't cook worth shit. So I guess with that being said, I should put some pants on and go to the grocery store. Do you guys wanna come with me? For the grocery store part, not the pants part. You guys don't need to see that. I mean, unless, <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> unless. Actually, you know what? Before I put pants on, I should probably look up a recipe for curry, just so I know what I actually need to buy. All right, quick and easy chicken curry recipe. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, damn, this music's bumping. I came here wanting to learn how to cook curry. Now I just want to learn how to play the sitar, or whatever this instrument's called. Something like that, right? Sitar, sit, 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 I don't know. Cool, all right. Let's go to the grocery store. So I just left the apartment. Uh, unfortunately, the nearest grocery store is pretty far away from me. So I thought I'd just do a little vlog, fill you guys in about what I'm gonna be doing with the curry. Um, some of the ingredients aren't possible to get, like slow poke tail, it's not a real thing. So I'm gonna try the best to emulate those kind of things. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I think I have everything. I still need to find coconut milk, but other than that, I think we are good to go. This is gonna be very pricey. So I guess all that's left to do now is a cooking montage. I'm gonna make one base curry, then add ingredients to it, and then uh, see what one's the best. And uh, yeah, let's go do it. 20 minutes later. So uh, I'm awful. Uh, I burnt everything, and uh, turns out, just like I thought, I don't know how to cook. So uh, solution, I ordered some curry, <laughs> and I'm going to add ingredients to the curry, because <laughs> I, I'm a 24-year-old male who lives alone. <laughs> Why did I think I could cook curry? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so let's start things off with just the regular curry, um, <laughs> which was definitely made by me. This is a plain vegetable curry, by the way. I'm so glad I didn't make this. This video would be whole, a whole lot worse. Um, so just regular curry, regular curry is good. Um, what I think it needs is some bread. For this one, I just got some naan bread at the, or, or naan bread at the, uh, is it naan? Naan, yeah, whatever, uh, at, at the local supermarket. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna taste really good because that bread is delicious. Not bad. I wanna try this again, but with garlic bread. I think that would be really good too. I didn't want to do the rest of this stuff. I just want more bread. So next up, we're going to try the salad curry. Um, from what I saw in the game, it looks like it's a garden salad. So I've gone ahead and bought some garden salad mix, which is apparently sponsored by Marvel, I guess. Uh, it's endorsed by Captain Marvel herself. So uh, this should be good. This should be some good salad. So let's add it to our curry. There is lettuce and cabbage all over my floor. So with the remaining salad that's not on my floor, uh, I've added it to the curry. So let's see if garden salad is a good match with curry. I need to get a good bite of both these things somehow. Um, uh, give me a little bit of cabbage. Give me a little carrot. Honestly, that ain't bad. 
I'm not a huge fan of cabbage, but this works somehow. Because the curry itself is just, it's spicy and hot. But then when you mix up, when it mix in like the cold lettuce, it's just, gives a nice like crisp taste. Which, you know, you, you wouldn't think they would like, but it's good. I can't deny it, it's good. And now I need to clean up my floor. Oh god, it's everywhere. How did they get over there? Oh my god, what have I done? So next up is the curry that I was most excited for. It is the spicy sausage curry. So I've gone ahead and bought some little tiny, little bite-sized uh, Italian spicy sausages. And uh, let's see how this works. I'm hoping it's going to be good, uh, but I feel like I'm going to be disappointed. So let's just get a nice big sausage in there. That's what she said. Okay. So. It's good. But the sausage overpowers the curry. At least the, the, the shitty curry that I bought. Um, yeah, all you taste is the sausage, which, I mean, the sausage tastes great. Let's try with some, uh, a bro some broccoli. Yeah. No, I can still only taste the sausages. So, um, I guess don't do this one. Um, just eat the sausages by themselves or eat the curry by itself. So, next up we have the slowpoke tail. And you wouldn't believe how easy it is to get slowpoke in Canada. It's just everywhere. It was, I found it on the corner. Um, no, uh, what I went for with this is just, I figured slowpoke's a water type, so maybe you have a fishy taste. Um, so I went with smoked salmon, which I'm sure it's not going to be exact. I, I guess we don't really know. No one's ever really tasted a slowpoke before. I actually wanted to go with like a mixture of bacon and alligator but obviously it's hard to find alligator meat like just you know short notice unless you lived in like Louis, 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 Louisiana so uh that being said let's just taste this monstrosity and see how it uh, how it works I love smoked salmon I like curry but I feel like this is gonna be a sausage effect where uh nothing's gonna work well together so uh I can't tell if I like it or I hate it. I mean, it has a unique flavor compared to the sausage. Like, you can tell there's like a combination of the flavors. But, I don't know if it's a good combination. I maybe would have gone with a different flavor of smoked salmon, because this one I got is honey flavored. Which, I mean, it was the only one they had at the store. Um, but yeah, it's not awful. It's not bad. I'm going to try the smoked salmon on itself. Maybe I'm just tasting that. Well, there's definitely a, a unique combination of flavors when you mix the curry with the, the smoked salmon. And it's honestly not bad. Very sweet, very sweet, but also kind of spicy. That honestly wasn't that bad. I might make some more of that later, to be honest. That's really good. I do have some smoked salmon left, so uh, I might have a little snack later tonight. All right, this is the one I've been dreading the most. Um, it is the bean curry. I think it's called the tin bean curry or bean tin, whatever. Um, it's, it's, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good whatsoever, but it might taste good. I highly doubt it though. Um, so enough selling. Let's just get in there and eat this curry. Let's just, oh God, it looks so bad. It looks so bad. No, I need more beans. Oh, it's all falling. I need more beans. I need more beans. Thank you. No, 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 oh my god, okay, so, oh, I, the texture of the beans, super weird, does not mix well with the rice, let me try again with some veggies, um, I feel like it's not making much of a difference, but uh, no, nope, it work. No, 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 not bad actually. No, no, there it is. There's the beans. There's the beans. I don't even understand because I like beans, but this is not a good combination. All right, let's. Uh, I'm dying. 
So next up is the tropical curry, and it's not really clear what's in this, other than something called a fruit bunch. I just figured, what kind of fruit comes in a bunch? Oh, bananas. Bananas are kind of tropical, so I've added bananas to my curry, and this is going to be awful. Um, but, let's <laughs> eat it, whatever. I hate my life. Oh. It's honestly not that bad. It's way better than the beans. Way better. What? I'd eat more of this. I mean, I won't because I need to save room for the other like 10 things I need to do, but yeah, it's not bad. So next up, it's the cheese covered curry, which is curry covered in cheese. Um, the main ingredient is mumu cheese, I believe, in yeah, mumu cheese in the game. I don't know what a mumu is. I'm assuming it's the cow. So it's regular cheese is probably suitable. So I put a lot of cheese on this. Um, it hasn't melted on the top, but it's all melted inside. So can't taste the cheese. Oh, there it is. It just tastes like risotto, but but worse. If you want cheese and rice, um, just uh, just get risotto instead. I think it's it's much tastier. Do you, do you have a problem, microwave? Do you want to fight, bitch? Yeah, but not awful. I'd eat it. It was served to me. I finish it. I really like cheese. I'm a cheesy guy. So last but not least, I mean, it actually might be least, who knows, it looks pretty bad, is the instant noodle curry. So I've just gone ahead and bought some instant noodles, uh, added it to the curry. I mean, what else What else could I have done? Um, and uh, we'll see if I can get a nice heaping portion of both. This, this is a lot of carbs, actually. This is so many carbs. This is rice and instant noodles. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. It's chicken flavored instant noodles and vegetable curry. Mm. I don't know what I just tasted. I can't say it was bad. I also can't say it's good though. I'm tasting a lot of noodle. There's a lot of noodle slipping down my throat right now. Let me try to get a tiny bit of noodle and then a lot of the curry and see. Maybe I just have the proportions wrong. I mean, I have a lot of things wrong with this. This is the worst way I could do, do this video. Uh, just wait until Polygon puts one out, which is gonna be 10 times better, and they're gonna do all 150 recipes. But uh, for now, you can settle for this. All right, so we have some vegetables, we have some instant noodle and some curry. Hmm. Huh. It's honestly not bad, but it's just, practically, why would you ever do this? It's, uh, it's just a ton of carbs. The flavors work okay, I guess. I'd eat this. I'd probably have a heart attack after eating it, but you know, I'd eat it. So that's all I have for curries right now. I originally wanted to do the sweet apple curry as well. I had planned to, you know, make some caramelized apples, make them nice and tasty. I thought it would be a really nice treat, like a nice dessert to finish on. But I just realized that I bought garlic butter instead of regular butter. So I don't really want to make butter garlic apples with brown sugar because I feel like that's just gonna be awful. I mean, a lot of the stuff I ate today was awful, but that would be the worst possible way to end this. Um, also, it'd be funny if I didn't see this though. I should probably, maybe I should just like cut this part out and then pretend like I didn't see this and have like a big reaction. Like, oh no, my apples, they're garlicky. But we'll say that for another time. Well, I might do a sequel of this. Let me know if you guys wanna see a sequel. Um, I'll try to like structure it a bit better uh, and plan it out a little bit better. I, I, I just have not a lot of time for this right now, but I think it went okay. Could have been a lot better though. I know that. You don't need to tell me. In terms of ranking these, I'd say absolute worst was the beans. I almost puked during that. Uh, the best was probably, honestly, it's the, it's the non bread curry. This non bread is delicious and it's, it's taste is amazing. It's a combination. Um, regular curry was probably second best. Um, what else do I have? I don't know where to rank the sausage curry because it tasted fine, but that's just because all I tasted was the sausage. So I want to put that as like neutral in the middle. 
Honestly, I don't even remember what I've ate so far. Like I've, I'm have, I'm in like a, a curry coma right now, and I. Uh, all you know is don't put beans in your curry. It's disgusting. Especially well, at least baked beans. Maybe other beans will work well, but don't put baked beans in your curry. It's bad. It's a bad idea. It will make you throw up. The texture's weird. The flavor's weird. It's not good. Don't do it. So yeah, let me know if you want me to do a sequel to this, trying some more of the curry flavors. I, I'll try to improve the next one because I know this is kind of rushed and uh, disorganized, but uh, I think it went okay. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you want to see some more curries and uh, want to make me suffer because there's some other ones on there that don't sound too good. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It is the best way to help this channel grow and it's always greatly appreciated. Also, if you have the time, consider checking out my social medias, my Facebook, my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. All the links are down in the description below. That's going to do it for me for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I have a lot of curry to finish and some dishes to do. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye, trainers.